hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel today i am showing how to draw a electrical ladder in a plan in rivet okay so first of all uh, we have one plan over here so i will this is the same thing what we did for what we we can do in um, cable tray the same thing we are using that one okay so go to the system tab first in the drop panel then you will get cable tray you can type ct and uh, you just choose that one so here you can available all the cable tray and uh, a cable ladder also so we just took this one cable ladder cable tray and you will get here is one uh, drop on also so you can choose the um that's the same way that we did it in cable tray also so i'm choosing this 450 here and uh, ladder height you can like height you can give uh, this is width and this is height okay so i am choosing uh, 150 for cable ladder and here is the level of the cable tray you can you can manually you can write the um, uh, numbers also okay so i am choosing 2750 okay then we can start a cable tray okay so i will start from here one cable ladder okay like this and you can draw like this okay so you can draw wherever you need you can draw it okay so the cable ladder you can simply draw like this so automatically it will uh, take all the things okay so this is the one way and in the same way i in my previous way previous video i shown all the um, cable tray like different cable tray even you can choose this one the cable tray also with the um, different size and you can choose from here the height and you can choose the level okay so i am creating same level and i choose like this okay and it will go like this okay same you can draw it the cable tray and cable tray ladder okay so it will go like this and cable if you need the cable ladder uh, then you need to choose from here the cable ladder and you can do edit the type also and you can duplicate this one as a new name okay so if you need another cable ladder cable ladder 2 or something other uh, gem generator cable ladder generator uh, gener generator or like lv or emv cable tray cable ladder you can type it any any names okay so i'll use this one cable ladder mv cable ladder okay and uh, here here i can change the um size also so i am using this one like this okay so it it will, it will automatically uh, creating here okay so we can filter also this one so if you go to the 3d also so you can see how it's work in the 3d view so it is look like this so simply you can make the cable ladder and the cable tray so here is the difference so this is this is cable ladder and that is the cable tray so simply you can make this um, cable ladder and cable tray and you can duplicate and whatever names you can give you can assign the names okay so for example this one i need uh, another cable tray another type okay so i need to type fire okay so we'll choose here and uh, go to here and the filter so you can make another one um like uh, you can create new and fire okay add it and you can choose from here the cable tray cable tray fittings and from here service type equal to i am typing here fire okay then click ok and add that one and it will come here just add it and choose the color of whichever you need so i will choose blue and this is solid and this is also solid and i'm using this one blue okay click ok okay so it will come here in the 3d view also you can make this different different color so this is the way we are making cap different cable tray and cable ladder if you go here and you can um, 
you can draw another cable tray i think this one we can use okay fire service type fire okay fire sorry fire okay so in the plan also you need to see the color means you just go to vv and the filter and just add the fire here okay just give the color like a blue okay and this one is like a solid fill and a blue color the same way same way we can give everywhere blue color okay and the solid fill okay okay so this was created so you need you need to say create similar one so just uh, right click it and create similar okay so we can we can draw another cable ladder over here same dimensions okay so we need to um, draw an, uh, we need to cross over here just up to here we can draw one and you need to change the level uh, 3000 uh, just say 3050 okay and you just uh, draw like this sorry i will delete this one because uh, it's having something okay, so i'll delete this I delete this and uh, you can click here and draw cable tray and the height is uh, 3050 i given and go to straight so there will be no clash at all okay so you can draw like this and draw like this also and this is a simple way we can coordinate also the, with the different level and just escape it that one and just see the 3d view how it's look you'll we'll see how it's look okay so you just rotate the views and just stretch it down see you can see there will be a, a small bending and uh, it will not clash with the uh, you can adjust from here also go to the left view and if you got some clashes over here just uh, you can move the move a little bit this one or uh, you can uh, this one also you can select control press control and you can select and uh, move it a little bit like this so you can you can easily you can avoid the clashes also here so here also you got some clash with uh, this pillar so you go to top and in the 3d view also you can adjust it this uh, clashes and everything okay so this 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 is the way we are coordinating all the cable trays and uh, we even even you have some duct also so you can you can make this type of coordination with a different level okay hopefully you guys are enjoyed my video please subscribe this is related to autocad and uh, rivet so if you have any comment please write a comment in my video thanks for watching thank you